The attendee journey of the virtual event page touchpoint begins on your Splash event page. Guests explore the content and register for the event. Once the form is submitted or a ticket is purchased, they'll immediately receive a confirmation email. The confirmation email contains the guest's unique virtual event URL, which they will use on the day of the event to access the live stream. Since this unique link is the only way an attendee can view the stream, the feature enables the host to gate their virtual event to only registered guests. Fast forward to the day of the event. The guests will receive one or more reminder emails containing their virtual event URL link. If the guest opens their link more than 30 minutes before the event start time, they'll land on a branded countdown screen indicating the event hasn't started yet. However, if the guest opens their link within 30 minutes prior to the event, the guest will see the check-in screen. Check-in requires just a single click. Then the stream becomes visible and viewing will start as soon as the event host goes live. The stream looks fantastic, both on desktop and mobile. It can be viewed in full screen and is often accompanied by a live chat. If the guest shares their unique virtual event URL link with a friend, the friend will see a link to use screen when they try and view the event. This will direct the friend back to the registration page so that they can register for the event and receive their own unique viewing link in their inbox. After the virtual event, the host is able to update the live stream embed to an on-demand recording hosted on platforms such as YouTube or Vimeo. Because the host has a full attendance report in Splash, they can easily send a post-event email to their no-shows. And just like with the live stream, the recording is gated by the check-in screen, so the host has a record of each person who has viewed their content on demand. Looks pretty seamless, right? Let's now show you how all this magic is implemented from the host perspective.